I've never had a crystal that actively like reset my brain. So let's talk all about Opalite, which actually jumped the list and became my favorite crystal in a matter of two weeks. Real quick, here's a close up of her. Nice and iridescent and beautiful. What they had told me this crystal was gonna do was make me feel calm, peaceful, and tranquil. Facts. Give a calming, peaceful, soothing energy. Extra facts. Increase my understanding of the world and like my place in the world. Also facts. Help you let go and heal the heart. True. And the most important fact is to promote a positive outlook. That's also true. But what they forgot to mention and like the most important aspect of it and why I love it so much is the fact that it's a full body reset. It's like a recalibration of your body. How this crystal made me feel was so calm, so tranquil, so like in the moment. It's really hard for me to be in the moment. I went to sleep with this crystal. I woke up feeling like a brand new person. I can't believe how calm I was. I can't believe like all my worries went away. I've never lived a life without anxiety and I woke up without anxiety. I went to sleep with this crystal not knowing what it's gonna do. I just went to sleep with it. I said, something told me to go to sleep with it. I went to sleep with it. I woke up at peace. I had peaceful dreams. I woke up well rested. I woke up not even happy. I just woke up feeling content. Y'all know what feeling content feels like? Feeling satisfied in life. Feeling like I ain't got nothing to worry about. Nobody's after me. Do you know how that feels? It feels amazing. It feels peaceful. It feels like I was an angel. I woke up like, yes, everything's gonna be okay. This crystal made me understand my place understand myself, understand the world in such a short period of time. I highly recommend this crystal, but I will say it's not a crystal that you use every day. And I'll tell you why in the next video. And the warning I wanted to give is as much as I love this crystal, it's not an everyday crystal. What I tried to do was I tried to uh, have that feeling every day. Of course, I was like, wow, no anxiety, no pressure, all that. I wouldn't try to wake up the next day when I was overthinking immediately because I was like, let me just go back, go back to sleep with this. I'm curious if I go. Literally, it didn't work the next day. I was like, dang, it was so powerful the night before. Why didn't it work the next day? Like, what's going on with that? So I realized there that you have to do the work. You can't just like rely on a crystal. It gave me like one little jump restart, one little, uh, it was like pretty much jumping the car. Remember I said it's like a factory reset? It's like I got my car jump, boom, my car working, it's time to go. I'm sitting here trying to jump my car every day. I'm gonna burn my battery out. So that's why I didn't work. I was like, dang, like what kind of, what kind of hoax is this? Literally, you cannot use it every day. What I did do is I took a break from it. I put the crystal down. I went out, out the country for like a month and a half. I came back when I was like unbalanced, just tired and all that. I went to sleep with the crystal and it's like, boom, never factory set. I was like, wow, you need to take time away from this crystal. Let it rebuild and let it recharge. When I came back, it's like, boom, brand new body. Brand new wiring. It's like I was renewed again, refreshed and just like happy to be here, content. I can hear myself again. I can hear myself think. I was just like, wow, it feels good to be in my place. Like, you know, I got this going because before I um, use that crystal, I'd be like going through things. I'd be like super like full of anxiety and all that. Super full of like self doubt. That's the biggest one. That crystal reset my body. And then once again, I was just like, I'm here because of this reason. This is the blessing of being here in this space right now because I get to see this and I get to enjoy this. It's so like I can see and appreciate things much better. My perception got cleared. And that's another thing I said about it too. It was saying that it's gonna clear perception, increase your creativity, enhance um, your vision because it is a third eye crystal. And I was like, I can see all that happening. So I loved it for that reason. And again, once a month, you do not need to like shock your body back into place like every other day. Give the crystal time to rest. Give yourself time to rest. Do the work. That's the biggest thing. You can't sit there and get a factory reset and then rely on a crystal the whole time. You have to take your reset and keep your new life, your new recalibration, and keep it going. What I did and what helped me too is I was like, okay, this is what got me to this level. This is what got me to the point of where I needed a factory reset. So what led to that? And once I know what led to that, I'm just like, okay, cool. I can start combating those issues like say like I get out of balance because I'm not drinking enough water I make sure I drink enough water or I get out of balance because I let somebody else rob me of my energy rob me of like my um good spirits I was in good spirits and then somebody else ruined my day I have to like be aware of those things so I don't go out of balance but lo and behold if you ever go out of balance not every day but like 
twice a month, once a month, ever got a balance, Opalite is a good crystal to bring you back in balance. It balances every single chakra at one time. I'm talking about insight. I'm talking about channeling. All that was so easy for me. It was like no blockages. Everything was perfect. That's why I love that crystal. And that crystal is my number one now. Like until it jumped the list. It jumped the list and I was like, I ain't never felt like this. People who got anxiety and people who overthink and people who just like be like lost on their path, not living in the moment. Because it really helped me live in the moment. That crystal is really good because you can finally feel what it feels like to be at peace. I think everybody deserves peace. Everybody should want peace. It was amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video because that's all I have to say about the crystal. Besides, I mean, a couple of few facts. If I want to go ahead and throw that in there real quick. Um, it's a third eye crystal. It's um, connected to the third eye chakra. But some people say it's connected to the heart chakra because it does heal your heart. I would personally say it was more of a heart chakra for me. My heart felt less heavy. It felt light. And it's also associated with number six, which also deals with the heart and um, harmony, peace and harmony. So because of that reason, I say more of a, it's more of a heart chakra crystal. A little bit of third eye too, heart chakra all the way. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to get a sneak peek of what's coming up next. The next crystal we're going to talk about is red garnet. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming and listening to me and spending time with me. I truly appreciate y'all. So I'll see you guys on the next video about red garnet.